Hello and welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today I'm doing something out of necessity rather than, you know, enjoyment, etc. Um, and I hope this helps some of you because I've searched the internet everywhere and I cannot find the solution that I came up with, whether it's the only solution or whether there's lots, I'm not sure. Um, I bought myself a new laptop a little while ago for editing my videos and I started noticing that certain files just wouldn't delete. They just kept saying, file not found. And it was like, well, hang on, it's still here. I tried everything. I was, you know, going into command prompt, doing different things there. And I just could not get them to delete. Um, I could have formatted the hard drive and I'm sure that would have worked, but then I'd lost everything else as well. The problem was that these little files were all mounting up. I had about 10 or 11 of them on the computer, which is only a small amount, but this was over about three months. And then I checked everything and there was nothing wrong with the hard drive, there's nothing wrong with anything else. I think it's just a little bit of a bug with the version that I, uh, version of Windows I've got. Um, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I came up with a solution and it works. So I'd just like to show you guys and hopefully it helps some of you. If you'd like to become a Patreon, link's down in the description. And thank you guys who are my Patrons. I love you all very much and I really appreciate all the help you give me. Let's get on. Okay, so here's a file and I've named it. I cannot delete and you can rename it you can do what you like but every time you try to delete it says item not found no matter what you do if you press delete or go to delete in the menu also shift delete doesn't work etc I've tried pretty much everything I could think of what's annoying is it's full of phantom files as well so all of these I can't delete either so there it is filling up space on my hard drive first thing we need to do is head over to win-ra.com that's down in the bottom left hand corner for you now you just need to click on the download WinRA button you'll be taken to the next page. All you need to do here is scroll down. They want you to buy it for $25 and it's a good program if you're gonna use it for more than just this. Otherwise, I wouldn't advise buying it. Click on the download WinRAV 64-bit or 32-bit depending on your system. This will take you to the download page and it should now auto download. And it's quite a small program and it's very, very quick. So next, once it's downloaded, all you'll have to do is follow these steps. We've got find the download, double click on it, allow it to run, install, okay, and then you're done. It's a very, very simple program to install. Okay, back over to wherever your undeletable folder is, and all you need to do now is right click on it, and there'll be a new menu item, which is called WinRAR. Click on it, go across to add to archive, and now you'll get a list of different things you can do. First change from RAR to zip, here it's quite important that you click delete after archiving and then just click OK. And that's it. You've now deleted the original that couldn't be deleted and you can delete this one very easily. I've undeleted it to show you can delete it both ways, but that's it. Done. Okay, so it's really, really simple. Five minute thing and then you can get rid of all of them. Um, and I found since I deleted all the last ones, I haven't had any come back. That doesn't mean that they won't come back but i think that something had gone wrong with one and then that caused sort of like a knock-on effect but i don't know anyway once again if you'd like to become a patron pop down in the description thanks for watching see you again soon bye for now